Hey guys, it's Doe Crafter back with another video, and today we will be looking at something different. It will be a news video on Llama Train Studios' brand new game, aka the Pokemon Brick Bronze version, Lando, all those TBR, ADM, all of that. They're making a new game called Lumion Legacy. So it's supposed to supposed to be the sequel to Pokemon Brick Bronze, one of my favorite games ever. So it it technically is a sequel because so Pokemon Brick Bronze sadly did get taken down last year in April due to copyright using the models, the names from the Pokemon company. Did get taken down. But now they're coming out with a brand new game called Lumia Legacy. It's not gonna involve any Pokemon strike or any of the names so it will never be taken down so you don't have to worry about using robux or anything because i i spent a lot of robux on pokemon front and i lost it all which is really not fair but it happened so as you can see here this is lumian legacy we have some of the starters here i will show you all the starters because they have been not starters i'm pretty sure they're known as beginners all the beginners, there are seven as they tweeted. So the Poke the, the, their group was originally called the Pokemon Brick Bronze version, I'm pretty sure. And then they changed it to Llama Train Studios. But here we go. So we will, first of all, we will go over the types and then the beginners. So as you can see here, I'll just go over them really quick. I'll go over the ones that are known, at least. So we have fire, water, plant, aka grass, dark, air, aka fly, electric, ice, bug, metal, I guess you could call steel, brawler, fighter, typeless, normal, toxic poison, and then maybe a earth, rock, or ground. One of these rock or ground, and then spirit, ghost. And then mind, I don't know. Mind would be, maybe mind could be psychic, psychic, yeah, psychic. And then light is a new one. I don't know about light. I know they have that in Skylanders, but yeah, so they have light. So yeah, they're gonna have a light uh, beginner. I will show you guys, but now let's get into the beginners. The first ever one is Embit, number 001, the first beginner. It is a fire type bunny is what it looks like. Designed by Balbin Katzen, modeled by Kevin Katzing. And as you can see, the models look amazing. I love the models, it's so smooth. And then the sprite also looks very good. But now let's go into the description. It's soft for is always warm to the touch. This Lumion, aka Pokemon, is especially popular in the colder regions of Roria. So they are using that same name, Roria, as the like country, I guess, or city, whatever, of Roria, where it helps its trainers stay warm in the harsh climate. So this is going to be like the Charmander of this game for the starters, I guess. But the models look amazing. I can't get enough of that. So it's going to be a fire type bunny. But now we can go on to the next one, which is Dripple. So Dripple is um, four because I'm pretty sure it will be like Embit will go to. It will have three evolutions. We'll have Embit, next one, next one, which would go to 003. And then this is 004. So then, this is designed by Lollipop Reshi and modeled by Santis Verdome. And it kind of looks like Squirtle without a shell to me. But let's go into the description. I also really like the sprite. It kind of looks like a lizard, though, because of the tail, as you can see. But this Lumion appreciates the companionship of a trainer when given the chance, but it's perfectly content. To spend all day doing nothing more than blowing bubbles from its mouth. This is the water type, of course. And I don't know. Eh, I'm, I'm feeling more about Embit right now between these two. But next up, we have 
a Feevine, a really cool one actually. Feevine is 007 because of course there's three evolutions. It is designed by Pwin Pwinny, modeled by Loki Old. It is the plant type, aka grass type, and it's kind of like a a, a wolf slash cat type thingy. That's what it looks like to me with green eyes. It looks really cool though. So Sprite looks amazing. Model looks incredible. During the day, Feevine can be lazy can be found lazing in the sun, storing energy. At night, however, it unleashes its full potential and chases its prey through the fields with explosive energy. And that was my actual voice. I swear that was not editing. So this is a grass type. I guess maybe it could transform like day. Maybe it will just have normal eyes and then the night it like gets night vision or something. But this is the plant type, so it looks very cool. Next up, we have um, 0010, zero ten, designed by Pwin Pwinny and the same people. So this is the, the new one, the light type. His name is Eaglet, and it looks like the mix of an eagle, of course. It's some type of, like, cat, dog, one of those. But let's go. So it says, be cautious when approaching an eaglet's nest. These brave little Lumians are known to use their blinding lights and razor claws to defend their nests at all costs. So it has razor sharp claws from the eagle and the back legs. I'm not sure about. But this looks very cool. I don't know if it will be my choice to choose. But now we can go into the next one, which is wait. A second. Here we go. So here we have Vambat 013. Vambat 013. This is the dark type for the new game. It is designed by Bry Doodles and Santis Verdome, modeled by Santis Verdome. The, the, um, the sprite looks really cool. The glowing eyes. The models, once again, are really good. And this mischievous, this mischievous dark type Lumian is notorious for dive bombing cave explorers and stealing their hats. No one asked. Okay, I don't know, like stealing their hats. But let's go on to the next one, which is Snow Cub. This is an ice type, and it's designed by Bob and Katze and modeled by Santa's Verdome. This guy's done a lot. So it does look a bit weird. I don't know. It looks like jelly, kind of. But when packs of snow could travel down mountainsides, they often cause panic as they're mistaken as an avalanche. I don't know about this one, but if you like it, I guess. And now we are on this one, the Pikachu of this new game. It is called Weevil, electric type 019, designed and modeled by Loki Old. Sprite looks Cool model looks amazing, and this has a pretty long description. So this electric type Lumion is often found playing in thunderstorms, where it uses its tail as a lightning rod to gather energy from lightning strikes. It can send powerful jol jolts of electricity through its whiskers to stun prey. I would probably choose this one or the first one because those are the coolest ones. I think electric and fire; those are my boys. But now we are going to go on to some other type of stuff. So here we have Embit. This is going to, this is what I think is going to be the fight, the fighting interface. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. They definitely blurred out something because we don't want to know about it. But this is what it's going to be about. And I don't know. So we're just going to go along. I do you see next to the level 5 thing, they do have the male logo, so they're probably going to have the female logo, same as Pokemon, which is a bit weird. Pokemon Bronze, it's a bit weird. I don't know how that's going to work out. But now we have this. So they have tweeted each Lumion has its own unique size. So that means any type of beginner you get, you, it will always be different from someone else. As you can see from this picture, the girl, Rosalias, has a pretty small one. Shippool 
has a medium-ish, and then, of course, Lando has the largest, because, you know, he's Lando. But, yeah, so that's going to be it, I guess. So every, every type of Lumion will have its own unique size, which is going to be cool, because they can... I'll tell you in one second, actually. So, and then we have this video here. As you would see, it's your Lumion following you. Like, and as then, it just goes to sleep. So, it will both be following you, which is the cool part about this size variation. Because then other people will see if yours is giant or tiny. It will be really cool. But I hope you enjoyed this video. They did, they don't have an official release date. But they said late April or early May. But I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you dab in. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah. That's sad. Smash.